Hello everyone, it is Ryan here again on the Syntax Byte, and in this video we're going to create our last Firefox extension. So this is, should be the last one in the series. What we're going to do today is we're going to create a right click menu item to open a link in a new muted tab. So if you've ever opened a link before and there's a video that starts auto playing, it's really annoying and you're right clicking on a link you just have a high suspect that it's going to auto play something, maybe it's a Facebook link or something like that then you can use the open and new muted tab to automatically have the tab muted when it opens so that you don't have to worry if some audio starts playing you won't hear it. So this is just to teach you guys how to use right click menus with the Firefox uh, API but hopefully you'll find it helpful um, and, and you'll find that the extension that we make today is representative of something that you would uh, be interested in using and so therefore the tutorial is interesting. So to get started, we're going to create our manifest.json file. This is the basic file that every extension has to have. And if you've seen the previous videos, you'd know this. If not, this video can stand on its own, but we're going to go quickly through the manifest.json here. It's just a JavaScript object starting off with the manifest version, which for Firefox is always two. So unfortunately, this is a mandatory key and it never changes. Uh, we'll do the name of the extension. Uh, it's going to be yt open in muted tab and then we have a version that is going to be 1.0 we'll give it a description um, presents a right click menu option to open a link in a new muted tab Okay, background. So we're going to use a background script to set up the menu and then that script will set up a callback function and that function will be called when the menu button is pressed. So we'll give it a script. Uh, we're going to call this a background.js. Single script there. And then we do need the menu permissions. So this is called menu. Now I will know that you can use, I believe it's called context menu here and it mirrors the Chrome API better. Firefox just uses menus usually, but it just, if you put context menu here, then like later on in the app, wherever else you see the word menus, you'll also need to replace that with context menu. So maybe if you're watching a couple of tutorials and picked up on a difference, that would be why both are valid, but you just need to make sure that you're consistent throughout the application. So now we're gonna create that background.js file that I just mentioned and create our context menu. So to do that, we do browser.menus.create and it takes an object. That object has an ID. So this is a string ID. We're going to call it muted tab. This is how we'll check that our context menu item has been clicked and not a different one. We give it a title. So this is just the text that will display. Open link in new muted tab is what I'm going to use. And then we give it a context. So users might right click all throughout the Firefox application, but what we're interested in is when someone right clicks on a link. So you see, if I right click on a link, it, prevents, it presents me with this context menu, and I wanna add an option to open a link in a new muted tab. But if I just right click on the page in general, I don't want my option to show up. So you can see these other extensions have something in both cases, Fireshot only, displays when I just uh, right click on the page, the others display all the time. So we only want it to happen when someone is right clicking on a link. If they right click on a tab, if they right click on, uh, you know, it's just somewhere in the page, we don't want our option to show up because there's no link to open in a new muted tab. So we only want this when there's a link. So this is an array of context, but in our case, we just have the one we want to say link. And that will add it to the context menu only when someone has right clicked on a link. So now we can just go ahead and finish that off there. I'm gonna try loading the extension. Why don't we add a quick console log here at the top too, just to say uh, extension loaded. So extension loaded. And then that way we'll know if, if it's not working, if it's an issue with this or if our script is even running. So we'll go ahead and load the temporary add-on. And I'll just back out of my reference here. I'll open it. So everything seems to have gone fine. We didn't get any errors. Let's go ahead and right click now. 
and we see a new option at the bottom called open link in new muted tab. Now, unfortunately, I don't know, I don't think it's possible for extensions to add at the top here. So it would be great if it appeared right along with these options, but we're stuck down here at the bottom with the rest of the extensions. If anyone does have a solution to this that uh, allows them to actually put the link up here, definitely let me know, but I wasn't able to find one. So our option is gonna be at the bottom. And of course, when we click it, because we haven't implemented anything, it does absolutely nothing. So now that we have our option created, what we can do is we can respond when someone clicks it. So we do a browser.menus.addListener, or sorry, menus.onClicked.addListener. And this function is gonna get called whenever a browser menu is clicked, even if it's not ours, unfortunately. But we will filter out for ours. So it comes with an info. So it comes with this info object and then it also comes with the tab information. So that will be useful uh, when we want to position our new tab relative to the tab that they just clicked in. I'm gonna make this a async function just because it will make things a little bit easier for us uh, because we actually do need to do two, two lines here. So, okay. So I'm gonna just go ahead and open up that function. So we'll start off with an if statement to check if it was our, indeed our menu item rather than someone else's that was clicked. So we'll do info dot menu item ID is equal to ours. We did muted tab. And then we'll say if info dot link URL, we just want to check that that is set. We have a link URL set. What we want to do is we want to create a tab. So what we can do is we can do let tab equal, we're gonna do an await browser.tabs.create. This is gonna return our tab, but it's gonna be a promise. So that's why we use await because we want to wait on any of the code below until we've received the confirmation that our tab is being created. We need to give it some information. So to start off, we're gonna say active false. So we don't wanna to switch to the new tab immediately. We just wanna open it in the background and that mirrors the open a new tab behavior. So when I right click here and I go open link a new tab, it opens right beside and but it doesn't switch to that tab immediately. So we want the exact same behavior for ours just so it feels natural to users. So we'll say active false. We'll give it a URL. That's just going to be info.link URL. Uh, and then index should be um, one over from from the tab that we were currently on. So we can do tab dot index plus one. And that should be all we need. But that still doesn't mute the tab. Unfortunately, you can't pass muted in here. I don't know why, but you can't. So you then have to update the tab. So you have to do browser.tabs.update. Um, and then you take, um, we're gonna call this our tab or new tab, just to differentiate between this tab that was passed in. So we wanna update new tab.id and we wanna set it to muted. True. And that should be all we need to have our extension work. So let's go ahead and reload it and see what happens. Okay. And we can see that it opens up in a new muted tab right beside. So we can see the little mute icon. We know that the tab is muted and I just unmuted it, but that is perfectly good. We see that our context menu doesn't show up when we don't expect it, so that's good. And so at this point, the extension is done. There's a, you know, a few modifications you could do to this. You could add an icon for the menu, you know, that sort of thing. Um, maybe there's more context uh, rather than just links that you want to open a new muted tab for. But uh, as far as the base of the extension goes, this is done and it is working well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this Firefox series. If you have enjoyed it, be sure to throw a like and comment down below if there's any other series as that you would like me to create. Uh, maybe you are interested in creating a Chrome extensions as well or edge, edge extensions. Uh, so let me know and uh, if, there's, if there's a demand for it, I can definitely create those tutorials as well.